Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and today we will see what is up with the person you are connecting with, what's on their mind. So this energy is going to be the one you're currently thinking about or anybody you have on your mind when you're watching the reading, okay? This is not going to be a very detailed reading, it's going to be a quick, quick message, um, quick love message for you guys. So yeah, let's see what's happening for you guys. Give me mainly the energy for June. Um, I'm going to start all the way from Aries to Pisces. And if you are interested in knowing more about the person you're connecting with and you know a more in-depth uh, video about your relationship and what's coming next, what to expect in the future, you can check out the Vimeo um, page which will be linked in the description box, okay? You can also check out your 2021 forecast. Let's see, what do we have for Aries, please? What do we have for Aries? We have Aries for an Aries. Okay, so by the looks of it, Aries, I feel like this is somebody who... Um, I think there's a little bit of a delay here um, between you and your person. I'm seeing that this could be Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or... Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that you're connecting with. I'm really getting that this is somebody who will be reaching out to you. I do see a sign of progress, but I feel like this person's taking their time right now. They are uh, holding back a little bit and you could be holding back from the situation as well. But I really feel like this is somebody who's going to eventually um, come on in and say something, but it is going to be a little bit delayed. I do see communication popping up here. Uh, this person looks forward to talk to you. It's like they're looking forward to it. For a lot of you, this person could also be wanting for you to talk. So there's a little bit of that stubborn energy. Yeah, Ace of Swords. This person is going to reach out, okay? Uh, there's clarity, there's truth. Um, this person might even reveal their feelings for you or some sort of a confession here may come in for you. It could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius mainly that you're connecting with, but could be any sign. So I'm really seeing that, yes, this person is going to be reaching out to you and there can be a little bit of a delay. But this is something that they are actively looking forward to. Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, and making memories. This person misses you. They could be constantly looking at your social media or any pictures that they already have of yours. If they do, I do not know. Like sometimes people comment, they're like, I'm not on social media, so how are they spying on me? Well, I don't know. Okay, that is not for me to find out. Um, meeting and conversing. I do feel like you guys are going to be meeting somebody. We have kisses at the bottom of the deck here. I, I see you going out on a date with somebody pretty soon. Um, there could be somebody else as well who may ask you out. So keep that in mind. And if you have another option, then I do see more than one person. But mainly, I do see somebody coming towards you. There can be a little bit of a delay though. Let's do Taurus. What do we have for Taurus, please? What do we have for Taurus? We have Ace of Wands that came in the reverse. Hmm. <clears throat> this is interesting. Could be connecting with Aries, Leo, Sag. Oh no. Okay, so I feel like this person is, um, I feel like they are not communicating with you, um, but they're doing everything else to keep tabs on you. They're spying on you heavily. They're wondering what you're up to. If they're not spying on, on you, then they could just be looking at your social media or they could be thinking about you a lot. If you're feeling this person in your energy, it could be because they're also thinking about you a lot. So I'm getting that both of you could be thinking about each other a lot. But this is, I feel like Taurus, I just did your reading, by the way, and um, I did see that there could be somebody who troubled you, like emotionally. I really feel like this person, you, you think that they need a strong grasp on reality. Uh, this can be somebody who talks a lot and doesn't do much, which could be the reason why you're turning your back to this person. But honestly, they're losing hope that you're going to be back and they know that you are offended or you are probably tired of their bullshit. They know it. 
um, they feel like you've lost their you've lost your passion for them um, and they're a little bit scared to reach out <laughs> this person's scared of rejection okay because they feel like you're not the same or you don't feel the same um, this isn't over yet though okay with the death in the reverse this is completely not done yet um, I definitely feel like this person is gonna come in and say something because a they are just you know they're wondering about you a lot and b they are they're spying on you okay some of you probably can tell because their name appears on your social media but for others of you they're trying to find out if you're not talking the, to them then what is up with you but the reason why you're not talking to them is because they just need to grow up that's how you feel okay so things are not done yet between you and this person but you can watch your Taurus reading. It's a very interesting reading. It is up on my channel. Do go watch it, Taurus. You'll get a fuller insight into what's really happening. You, 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 you really get to know a lot of things. We have passion that fell, insane chemistry, liking each other equally and having fun. So with or without this person, Taurus, I see your love life moving forward. I see, again, I don't want to reveal too much about your reading, but I just did your reading so I can tell what, what is up here um abundance money coming in okay sorry guys that's my ac money coming in good stuff coming in keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want with gratitude and bliss so are you ready to welcome new love as well as good money we have a uh, hot with a key welcoming love meeting the one so like i said with or without this person taurus love is really showing up here for you okay let's do gemini the signs that were evident here were scorpio aries leo sag and libra gemini aquarius what do we have for gemini please What do we have for Gemini? Gemini. Ooh, Sun in Gemini, Mercury in Gemini. We have Mercury retrograde as well. So the month of June overall is going to be about lots of communication for a lot of signs. Okay. Gemini, this is somebody who wants you back for sure. But I think there's a problem here with this person is that you have trust issues with them. They tend to come towards you with full force, but then they hold back as well. So one day they treat you like you're the one and you're everything for them. And the next day, you don't even know where you stand with this person. So that's the problem here with this person. Uh, they're quite in their head about you. This is somebody who could be very um, money oriented, you know, somebody who's all about making money and very career focused. And if that is not the case, they could just be point blank period, very, very selfish. Um, I do see them opening up. I see lots of communication. But I think, again, with the Knight of Swords energy, this person's rushing in, but you don't know why are you, why are they rushing in towards you? I mean, some of you may already know if this person you know for years or months, you can tell, but I think this person's rushing in to talk to you, but yeah. I think this person comes with a warning, Gemini that they may come in but they may ghost you especially if this person somebody who has ghosted you before then they can ghost you again so be mindful of this person okay whoever this is mainly libra gemini aquarius taurus virgo capricorn and Air aries energies here okay what could be anybody that you're connecting with could be a libra as well evidently or a leo we have girl talk time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun snake and the chaser yeah so there is a runner chaser dynamic here somebody has been very malicious so if this is a relationship if this is a situation where you know that this person isn't for you then probably they are not for you okay uh, but they want you to listen to them. I feel like they're going to be hitting you up. They're going to be talking to you. Right now, some of you are just in your own element. You are in your own energy. You're not going to chase after nobody, okay? You got what you got, okay? Point blank, period. Love call. 
yeah, I do see them reaching out to you, okay? Let's see, what do we have for Cancer? What do we have for Cancer? with the energy here uh, somebody wanting to open up but somebody not being stable enough okay with the hermit in the reverse that could this could be somebody who ghosted you um this person's gonna be back they're gonna be opening up to you yeah for some of you maybe you have waited for this person to speak up or to reveal something but i'm could be a virgo could be sagittarius aries leo or libra gemini aquarius a little bit of earth taurus virgo capricorn is here too but cancer you know what this person needs time there's something going on in their life where I do not know if that is just this person, the personality wise. They need time to figure out what they truly, truly want. And they're seeming to be very drained, very tired, not ready to offer you what you want. Um, that's the kind of an energy they're bringing in. And oftentimes, if you deal with this kind of an energy, you end up feeling drained yourself. So be mindful of where you are indulging and who you're giving your time and energy to. For the most part, this person's holding back from you. Yeah, they are not ready to come in yet, okay? There's some sort of this emotional manipulation. And Cancer, if I'm going to be very honest with you, you yourself are trying to detach from the situation. Could be because of a third party, but I think you yourself are detaching as well. For some of you, this person could even be looking at you to come forward and communicate with them or to reveal something, perhaps. Healing heart and soulmate. Healing from a heartbreak. Freedom from toxic relationship. Yeah. So your love message is to heal your heart, to focus on yourself and to do what feels right for you to do. Okay. Uh, don't let nobody rush you. Okay. And I feel like this relationship was supposed to teach you a lesson with the soulmate energy. There was supposed to be some sort of a healing that needed to take place. So you probably met this person for a reason and that was your own healing. Okay. What do we have for Leo? Do leave a like um, and subscribe to my channel. Do let me know if you want more of these videos. It's going to be a quick reading. Like I said, if you, more, if you want a more detailed reading, you can watch your own specific sign. Okay, they are up on my channel. What do we have for Leo? What do, ooh, okay. Drop some cards for you. Oh my goodness. So we have the Ace of Wands with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, I feel like Leo, this person. What's up with the Four of Pentacles coming in for everybody? I feel like most of you are connecting with somebody who is very like held back and they they never reveal their true motive. So what is this collective energy of you dealing with people who never reveal their true motive? But Leo, this is somebody very, very attracted to you, very, very attracted to you, especially sexually attracted to you. And this person is somebody who is quite stuck up, okay? This person can be somebody who maybe they have judged you several times. They have pointed out several things about you, like physically or something that you do behavior-wise. This person is somebody who's a little bit of a complainer maybe, or if this is not a love situation, then you have somebody in your life, in your surroundings, that's a little bit of a complainer and picking faults in things unnecessarily. Um, that person is in your energy, could be a lover or anybody else as well. I think there's somebody coming in, there's going to be a new start between you and somebody, they're very passionate about you, they are going to be coming in, but at the same time, they're not telling you the whole truth. So when it comes to this person that you're connecting with, you go in, but you go in carefully, and you actually have to make this person reveal something, but I do not know if they will or not. Like I said, they're coming in, but they're not being very, very truthful with their energy. Leo is getting a lot of communication. For a lot of you, it's going to be very sudden, okay? There's going to be sudden communication between you and somebody. 
and there's going to be lots of it. But like I said, be mindful of who you give your time and energy to. Yeah, could be even somebody who ghosted you before who, or who acted like they don't have time for you before. That's the kind of a person that I see coming back around. I see two different people for even some of you, okay? So we have Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries. We have Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? Even Libra. So, But you could be connecting with anybody. I'm getting Virgo as well. Okay. We have Cupid's arrow. Have faith that love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or a meeting. Um, <laughs> love is coming in. For sure. And there's a big surprise. There's that this element of surprise in your reading. Okay, look. Need time takes time. Cycle. Progress. And a love call. And the kisses at the bottom of the deck here. See? So I really feel like you're like there are multiple people who are wanting to hang out with you or be with you. If you're stuck on a pause person, then perhaps this is your message, Leo, to open up to a new person. Okay? Or to keep your options open, something of that sort. Okay? What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo, please? What do we have for Virgo? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have King of Swords in the reverse. There is Major, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. I feel like Virgo, um, the past is returning and they have something to say to you. But who has a little bit of resentment for who? It's in your heart or their heart, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm picking up on an energy of resentment and anger, a little bit of frustration. It could be from you or them, like I said. If it's not you, then it's them. Somebody here is frustrated that or resentful about how the other person treated them or disappeared on them or maybe wasn't being truthful and, truthful and honest, okay? Um, I do see the past returning strongly and something that's going to be revealed to you here, big, big time. I think this is somebody who cannot be rushed. This is somebody who does what they want to do in their own timing, Virgo. We have camera and paradise. We have reminiscing, keeping, oh, what is that? Okay, sorry. Uh, perception, learning from the past, making memories. Then we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. There is somebody who's constantly looking at your social media, stalking you and stuff with the camera energy. Maybe they have your pictures and stuff. Uh, maybe somebody's a photographer here. That's a very random side message. Or somebody's on, on somebody's online, like an influencer or somebody who has a lot to do with vlogging and <laughs> blogging and things like that, maybe. Uh, maybe it's you or them, but I really feel like this person's wanting to return. I feel like there are big changes uh, in your life that are coming up, Virgo, especially when it comes to your career and, you know, a sense of expansion, joy and happiness with the paradise. OK, so there is a lot for you to look forward to overall in your life, not just love. OK, there is a sense of emotional fulfillment that I see for you. What do we have for... Libra. You can check out the extended version, which will be linked in the description box to know more about your person. And you can also check out your twin flame soulmate reading Libra. It will also be linked in the description box. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Do give this video a like if you enjoy the reading. And subscribe if you haven't already. Three of Swords. Who is feeling heartbroken? Ooh. Libra, I'm getting that this person feels like there has been a missed opportunity between you and them. Okay. 
that is something I kept picking up on even when I was shuffling the cards. Like somebody feels like there has been a missed opportunity. There, somebody feels like there's something left unsaid. Um, this person's feeling heavy about the connection, about you. And I think that they're, this person has a lot of love for you, Libra, with the Sun card. You make them very, very happy. So I'm getting that this person's looking forward to connect with you again. Could be a Leo, could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sa Aries, Leo, Saj, I said. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Scorpio. Taurus could be the case. Or fire, okay. This person's looking forward to hear from you. That's something I'm getting. Yeah, look at this. This person feels like there has been a missed opportunity between the two of you. And honestly, they are not seeming to be somebody who's going to come in and say what they want to say to you. They're mainly looking at you to make amends. Now, if you already did reach out and you didn't hear back, then you do you. But this is somebody who's looking. Yeah. Look at that, Libra. What is up with this person? See, they miss you a ton, but they're not really revealing that, okay? Some, for some of you, this person feels like you don't want them. They want you, and you're somebody who, like, they may even have dealt with other person, but you're somebody special to them, really. And there seems to be something in the middle of you too. Like, you know, one of those connections where it's a good connection. You guys love each other. And there's, you know, you guys have, you know, give each other good company. But there's always that bad timing or just something that happens between the two of you that separates you two. Okay. Passion and wedding brings. For some of you, wedding could already be involved like marriage or something. But this one says union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal. Yeah, this is a soulmate connection. That is something that I kept picking up on for you, Libra, was that this is seeming to be a soulmate connection. I'm seeing that there is intense passion and chemistry between you and this person. Okay, this person feels a lot for you. They do. Kisses, yeah. <laughs> Libra, I think there you you two are going to re reunite. You two are going to reunite strongly because of the passion, because of how you two want each other such passionately, okay? Um, but there can be a little bit of a delay here. However, I strongly see a union. Passion, wedding rings, and kisses, I strongly see a union for Libra, okay? Let's do Scorpio. Let's do Scorpio. You can check out the extended reading for your person. Scorpio, which will be linked in the description box if you're interested, as well as your soulmate twin flame reading. What do we have for Scorpio? Knight of Wands. Scorpio, somebody's going to come in. Somebody's going to talk. Okay, I can see what's happening here. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mainly Leo and Sagittarius that I'm picking up on. Could be a Libra even. I do see communication. And why am I seeing two different people for you, Scorpio? So there could be two different people that you're connecting with. There is a message coming in for you. Now, I think I need to give you a warning when it comes to your person because... This is somebody very charming, very like somebody who's able to wrap you up in their words, somebody who's just very like into you and wants you and stuff. But you know that they don't want a long term commitment with you and you know it. I don't have to tell you this. OK, um, so there's a player like energy that you're well aware of. And even in the past, you were aware of the fact that they are a player, but you stuck onto them because you had high hopes that you were going to change them and you were going to make them see your value and stuff, Scorpio. So which didn't work out and that caused in lots of disappointment for you. Um, you know what? The, the thing that I'm getting for you is that there is uh, flaky happiness. That is something that they're telling me. Flaky happiness. 
So this person tends to give you happiness. They tend to breadcrumb you and then they tend to take it right back. Somebody's very flaky here. Somebody tells you that they're going to do something, but they never do it. Somebody tells you that they're going to meet up with you and then they never meet up with you or they disappear on you last minute. So this is somebody like that. Okay. Be mindful of this person. Yeah. Date and mask. Absolutely. It pretty much, it pretty much sums up what I said. Meeting somebody new, getting back out there, plan and set a date, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So somebody's going to ask you out on a date pretty soon, Scorpio, but this is somebody who's not revealing their true feelings for you. So be mindful of who you are getting involved with. Okay? Because if you think that this person is going to change, no. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have? You have your own card here with Aquarius, Taurus energy, evidently. Um... What I'm getting for you, Sagittarius, is that there's lack of balance in your life right now. You're feeling emotionally disturbed or you're trying to figure something out in your life. There's healing going on. There's, there's immense distance between you and this person, by the way. And you're hoping to get something from somebody that they're not ready to give you. Let's just put it like that. And there is something in excess going in your life right now. It could be overthinking, overindulging, overly worried, lack of balance, um, things like that. There is communication coming in for you, but I am not sure if you are ready for it because I feel like a lot of you are not in the right mind space to let somebody mess up with your feelings anymore. There could be a new person, yeah, three of swords. Look at that, look at that, what's coming up for you from the bottom of the deck. Three of swords, ten of wands, and the lovers. This is related to a love connection, Sagittarius, where you've been heartbroken, probably because somebody had other options and you wanted for them to choose you, but they didn't, something like that. Maybe somebody was married. Um, looks like you are still carrying that burden in your heart. And it is about love. Love is showing up here for you, even from a new person. So the message for you from this reading is to open your heart to receive love. I know that there's somebody from the past coming in and you may not be ready to hear back from them, but there's somebody new as well who probably wants to open up if you're willing to open up to a new love situation or if you're willing to give somebody else a chance. They're telling me that you have only looked at one person a certain way and you've never given anybody else a chance. Maybe it's time for you to shift your perspective. Shift your perspective is your message from the reading and change your outlook, okay? We have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Energy, Cancer, Taurus, evidently in this. Yeah, it's time to evolve. Evolving to the next phase, healing, inner child growth. This is about growth for you more so than anything. There was a certain relationship in your life that was supposed to teach you a lesson that was supposed to make you look at certain aspects of yourself and heal them, okay? Um, photograph, looking at your pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Yeah, there's somebody constantly wanting to connect with you, wanting to be back in your life. Uh, but... <laughs> I think it's time for you to reevaluate your choices. So more than a love reading to me, it looks like an advice reading for Sagittarius. We have photograph. So I feel like some of you could be maybe, um, you know, you could be having a profile on Instagram where you put in lots of photos and stuff. Something about pictures again for you. A hobby of yours, perhaps. Okay, something like that. There's somebody looking at you online. Okay. What do we have? Or Capricorn, please. Ooh. 
Too many cards. Capricorn, what I'm getting for you overall is that there were many distractions in your relationship or your relationship distracted you from many important things in your life. Thanks. We have the King of Cups in the reverse. We have the Empress in the reverse with the world in the reverse. Something here came to an end and possibly came to an end because somebody was way too selfish, very, very inconsiderate of your feelings, um, always out for themselves, uh, wanting to manipulate you to get what they want from you and then disappear. And to add to that, there is no sense of stability in this. So remember why you left the situation in the first place. Somebody also was keeping their options open. Oh yes, it's the return of the devil. This is a return of somebody you already know is not good for you, Capricorn. And I don't really have to explain who this is. You probably know this person. And things ended with this person. You finally had the courage to let go of this person. And now they're coming back in. Now, this person is only out for themselves. Only out for themselves. They even maybe have other options here. Because this is somebody who is not willing to let you go. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with your energy and what kind of love and affection that you bring to the table for them. I also feel like Capricorn, somebody in your family maybe has emotionally troubled you a lot. So apart from love, somebody in your family has been very emotionally draining and you finally had the courage to walk away or to distance yourself from that person. So be on that path, okay? Do what you gotta do. But there's lots of communication coming in from somebody who you already know is not good for you. Could be a friends with benefits sort of a situation. This person is unapologetically a player. Okay. We have a Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Leo, Capricorn energy evidently here. We have cassette, so outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over and over in your head. So this is the same cassette here, that this is the same thing that's gonna be repeated here with this person, okay, talking. There's gonna be somebody who's gonna be um, texting you, interested, conversing, more awaited message arrives, text, call, email. So yeah, I do see somebody reaching out. I do see somebody communicating with you, but it's the same person just another day with the cassette energy. And the message for you is that you know better and you can do better. That's something I'm hearing for you, Capricorn. What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Oopsie, okay. We have lots of communication coming in for you as well, Aquarius. There could be distance between you and this person. There could be physical distance or emotional distance. Um, but I really feel like there's somebody coming back around. Um, however, I'm getting that maybe there was involvement of a third party here for you. Somebody here was dealing with another person and you together and you got to know about it because something here is telling me that this person treated you unfairly um, and they know about it. So they probably have regrets. So if you hear from this person, know that they have regrets. They know that they did you wrong if they did something wrong. Okay. This person admires you, Aquarius. They, they admire how lively you are, how fun-loving you are, and how out there you are at times, and how you don't really let certain things affect you. Like They might be affecting you, but th this is something that this person loves about you, is that you are a bundle of joy, and you bring a lot of joy in their life. That's probably the reason why they have regrets, and they know that they did you wrong. There's a sense of disappointment um, 
but I see lots of communication, mainly because, of course, it has a lot to do with Mercury in, in retrograde. We have many signs, um, planets in retrograde, then we have Sun in Gemini right now, Mercury is in Gemini, Mars is in Cancer. So we have lots of things going on here, Aquarius, that, you know, not just for you, but for a lot of signs, it is going to be a month of exes returning and lots of communication, okay? The signs that are here are Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Aquarius, a little bit of fire too. Yeah, the love call and the chaser. Chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment. So who has chased who? I feel like you have chased this person, but you're not chasing them anymore. Uh, we have the love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So I'm really getting that there is somebody here who wants to connect with you, who wants to come back in your life, okay? But if there has been a runner-chaser dynamic, then it is going to continue. But uh, you know what I'm getting for you, Aquarius? I'm getting that if you chased them in the past and you're not doing that anymore, then they're going to be chasing you now. So the tables have turned. That's your message. Let's see, what do we have for Pisces? Pisces, you can check out the link in the description box. It will take you to the extended for your Twin Flame Soulmate reading as well as your um, extended reading about your person if you're interested. You can also watch your own reading that I have uploaded on my channel. Now let's see, what do we have for Pisces? Do give this video a like. Okay, if you want to see more of these and subscribe. Ace of Cups. Beautiful. I feel like out of all the signs, only Pisces has gotten the Ace of Cups. Wow, this is a new start. And this to me is talking about, this is giving me many different vibes, which I will... Ooh, Pisces. Pisces, you've gotten the best cards except the justice in the reverse but i really feel like pisces there's somebody who's in love with you there's somebody again this person has treated you unfairly with the justice in the reverse they have done something to hurt you and they know that they were wrong maybe they were married and they were hiding it from you or that they couldn't give you the commitment that you wanted this person sees you as the one for them but honestly, this person doesn't have the guts to say that right off the bat, <laughs> okay? They have lots of love for you. They're coming back around and there is a huge possibility of a new person coming in your life. And overall, I think I've said this in your own reading as well, uh, Pisces, um, that you are going to be in a relationship, okay? Um... I've talked about this, that I've predicted a relationship for Pisces and I've said it so many times in your readings um, that there is a good person who wants to be in a relationship with you coming in your life. And with Jupiter being in Pisces, Pisces, you've got good money. I feel like everybody might have already told you this, but good money, Pisces, good life, you do you. And I think recently, Pisces, you have also learned a lot about yourself. Uh, you have grown as a person, you have evolved as a person. So I'm getting a very big self-love self -love vibe as well. You're not willing to sacrifice yourself for anybody anymore, which you did previously. I mean, you're a Pisces, you tend to do that. I'm a Pisces myself, so I know, but I think maybe you're not willing to do it anymore. We have healthy choices, yeah. Now you're all about self-love, making healthy choices. It says self-love, self-care, being happier. Trying to be happy, you're trying to go for things that make you happy, make you feel whole as a person. Um, focusing on yourself for now. Cupid's arrow, have faith that love is coming in, surprise invitation meeting. So I feel like love is coming in for you whilst you're focused on yourself. A lot of you are not even looking for love. Twin flame. There's a big twin flame vibe here. The signs in this reading are Aquarius, Pisces, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so lots of good stuff coming in for Pisces. And I really love your cards, actually. Get ready for this one, Pisces. Actually, that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for all signs. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, do give it a like and subscribe to my channel. You can check out a reading about your person, which will be linked in the description box. It's on Vimeo. 
So yeah, that's it. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.